You often mention fountain pens working by capillary action. What does that actually mean? Um, okay, so I've covered this in Fountain Pen 101, but I thought it was worth a nod to it here since Fountain Pen 101 is many years old now and I was a lot heavier when I made those videos. Um, I don't want to sidestep the question, but I just want to give a mention if you want to learn more in depth. The Wikipedia article about capillary action is actually pretty thorough, um, so I will just mention that. Um, and they actually have a line in there buried somewhere that says, um, you know, fountain pens work by capillary action. So, kind of legitimizes it a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, capillary action, by my definition and all my scientific wisdom, it's when a liquid is able to flow through a restricted space without being assisted by gravity. That's kind of how I think about it. So, you know, if you think about water, okay, if it's running down a hill or something like that, it's just flowing because of gravity. But if you restrict it into a small enough space, it'll actually run on its own. I don't know if it's the surface tension or whatever, but the term for that is called capillary action. Um, it's the same way that root systems and trees work, you know, because there's no like tree muscle that's flexing to, <laughs> to get the water up there. It just, it has very constricted root system that allows the water to naturally work its way actually up against gravity to go up the tree to feed the whole tree. Um, so that's, uh, that's how that works, is capillary action. And that's the same way that fountain pens work. If you look at any fountain pen, the way that they are designed is they have a bead system. I'm going to try and find you one that I can take apart. I'm going to take apart the sea glass. Why not? Um, so I've got the Edison Nouveau sea glass. I'm going to pull out the feed, and I'll zoom in here for you. Forgive me if this is uh, stuff that you already feel you know really well. You should just feel good about that if that is the case. So if you look closely at this feed, I'm gonna see how close I can zoom in and get away with it. Oh, look at that. So here's the feed. If you look, there's this very thin, very thin slit that goes down the middle of this feed. And there's all these different fins right here and all that stuff, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this very thin one that goes all the way down and comes all the way to the end. You can see it right there. So if you're looking straight at the end, that slit is what is um, assisting in the capillary action. So the water goes through this very small channel, the ink channel is what that's called, and it naturally works its way up to here, and then it just kind of hangs out, and it'll fill in all this extra space in the, fi in the fins, and it acts as kind of a reservoir. So as you're writing, if it needs to draw extra ink as you're writing more quickly, it draws it from this reservoir, and then when you stop writing, it kind of fills this back up. So it acts like a regulator. So it it's not literally just drawing ink straight down through here. It's kind of filling up this whole extra space, and then it's just only got to grab it from right here. And then when that mates up to the back of the nib, then the nib assists in that capillary action through the slit in the nib tines. And that's how it works, my friends. That is how the capillary action works in a fountain pen. That's why they write upside down. That's why you can write with them in outer space. Oh, there's my face, my chin. How about that? There's that beautiful smile. Um, so yeah, forgive me as I frame this properly here as I look at my monitor. All right, that's not bad. Cool. That's how it works. Um, so what else did I have to say about that? That's pretty much it. That pretty much explains it all. So ink is mainly water. Water works by capillary action, and that's how it works in a fountain pen. You can look it up more if you want to research it. Capillary action is pretty well covered by the scientific world, and you can learn more about it there.